warning, this video has blood and gore, because this is known as Gortober. So if you don't want to see death, torture, controlling behavior, and just anything bad, please do not proceed. But if you're completely up for it and want to hear to my cringe voice, then please continue ahead. It's all fine. And also a little self-promotion here. I'm now doing commissions, so if anyone feels up to commissioning me, please check out my Instagram and see my prices and see if you want to. If you don't, that is completely fine. I would just prefer some extra pocket change. So please continue on with the video. Hope you have an amazing October. Ah oh yes, October. A nice month for spooks and scares, and most importantly, graphic art without getting in trouble. And I don't mean sexual graphic art, I mean spooky art. And I am participating in it. As you can clearly see in the background, I'm doing Gortober, and I made my own personal props. Prompts, I can't speak anyway, but I made my own list. And a few people have also decided to do it with me too, and I'll put the pictures they made up here. It's really cool. Go follow them, I'll put their, their Instagrams in the bio. But, man, do I love Gortober. <laughs> Last year I tried to do Inktober, and I got to like, day 11. But, I ultimately kinda just gave up and didn't complete it because I got way too lazy and forgot to do most of the prompts. As you can clearly tell, most of the pictures I've drawn and are going to draw are of Oscar. And my Gortober is basically called Oscar Suffering Tober, so A. Can we get some sympathy for my boy? Please. Now, I plan on posting every four days of my progress on Gortober, but I don't know if I'm gonna voice over all of them. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, depends on what mood I'm in. And maybe I'll make some special videos with different kinds of themes instead of just normal voiceovers. So yeah, expect that. And also, do any of you like my cute little- Look, I changed Bun. Look, she's a little evil witch now. She's so cute. I love it. And I love the little thing on her hat. It's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyway, besides obsessing over Bun, <laughs> personally, I would like to know if any of you doing our Inktober or like Gortober or Drawtober or whatever else things they are. And if you are, put in the description like one of your pictures. I really want to see. That'd be so cool. I, I like seeing your guys' art. Now, I try to make every single one of these things shortened down to 5 minutes. So the end goal would always end up at 20 minutes, because I don't want these to be super long, because who's gonna watch all these? Let's be honest. So I try not to make them too long, and each picture took about like 40 minutes, at very most an hour. And I know this first picture took an hour, because I was trying to see what works best. And... I use this marker tool because it's really fun to use, I just found it, and man is it fun to use. But I use this for all the pictures because this was the quickest thing to do, and I can do the most detail in the quickest amount of time. Now, I didn't really know how to draw an axe that well, and I never did, so I looked up pictures and I hope I did a decent job drawing an axe. And I'm not really good at drawing open wounds. So let's hope I did a tiny bit of a decent job with that cut open arm. <laughs> and I'm not super happy with the expression on Oscar's face. I feel like I could have made him look more scared. But oh well, you stick with what you get. I'm not redoing any of these because I have to do one every day. Come on. <laughs> also, if I don't know what to say, I'm just going to put music and we just going to go on to the next beat paint. You stick with that, and Bunny, stop making noise, Cappuccino!
Now, not gonna lie, day two's prompt was nightmare, and I did a pretty boring one, and I made Oscar wake up from a nightmare, but I have my reasoning. I was- buddy, can you stop making noise? Thank you. Anyway, what I planned on doing was having the first prompt be his dream, and he just- oh my goodness, buddy, are you kidding me right now? The first prompt was gonna be his dream, and he's waking up from the nightmare, which is what the second prompt is. So, give me a little bit of an excuse for having it be so lame. Not gonna lie, this one pretty boring. I ain't got much to say, except I kinda like Os Oscar's facial expression in this one. It's kinda decent. I think I did a kinda good job. Also, all these are usually done in a more cartoony style, since they're all that, well, pretty dark. And I didn't want it to be super depressing besides a lot of them actually being really depressing. But I didn't want them to be too dark. Oh my goodness, Bunny, can you shush while I'm recording? Thank you, ma'am. But I didn't want them to be super dark, so I did them more in a cartoony style, and I actually really, really, really like this style, so... Might be using a more cartoony style. Um, be warned. I feel like I could have done a better job on the shading and the lighting and making it look like there's a lamp on. And... I guess I just have to deal with how it is. You can, you 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 don't see the lighting right now, cause I'm not being professional and talking while the thing's happening on screen. But oh well, you're gonna see it in like a minute or so. But I don't feel like I did a great job. But I feel like it gets the point across, and I still kind of really like it. Oh well, here's the lighting. Never. Mm. But I feel like I did kind of a decent job. Could have done better, but this is one of my favorites. There's worse. <laughs> Ah yes, this one. So the prompt for this one is drowning. And I wasn't too sure what to do for this, but then I asked my friend and they're like, hey, what if what if what if Oscar just wanted to take a bath and then Michael came in and drowned him and I was like, that's a pretty good idea. Why why don't I just do that? And and so I did. And they suggested 
putting candle up and I put a candle and not gonna lie this is one of my favorites but this picture makes me feel away and I feel so bad for Oscar because poor boy but this is one of my favorites because I'm proud of how it looks <laughs> now I was worried I was taking a long time with this picture and this picture only took like 43 minutes and when I looked at the time I'm like wait only, only 43 minutes I thought I thought it took like about like an hour or more but nope it, it only took like 43 minutes and I was happy about it I hope I did a decent job doing like the arms because like that's the main focus of Michael with drowning Oscar and you can only see his arms and you can see Oscar's arms reaching out and oh this picture is so horrible poor boy he just he just wanted to take a bath and then Michael had to come in and be like uh no <laughs> later on you'll see I don't do a lot of super gory pictures like there's gonna be like three pictures in a row that have like no blood to be seen but to be honest I is Gortober but I didn't want to focus a lot on the blood more of kind of like the meaning of the picture and not always going exactly for blood because blood can make things spooky and that is gore but pure spookiness of the picture and that feeling of uncomfortableness now that is superior <laughs> Now in the picture, I do the candlelight, and I do water, and I've almost never done either of the- well, uh, I can officially say I've basically never done either of those before in my life, so I hope they look like water and candlelight. They clearly don't look that good, but I hope they look decent, and I, personally, was decent- was pretty proud of my candlelight and water. They're not impressive compared to so many other artists, but they weren't the worst. I post all of these things on Instagram, and Instagram has like really nice filters. So I end up putting filters on almost like all of them. And on YouTube, almost none of them have filters, except for this one actually. I, I, I put the Instagram filter over this one, but all the other ones. Maybe the potential future ones will not have filters, but almost every single one of them has filters because I like how the filters look. They actually look really nice. Now, possessive behavior. <laughs> there were a lot of ideas for this one. There was the idea of, it's very horrible, but Michael holding Luca and threatening to kill Luca unless Oscar cut himself and Oscar cut himself. That was one, but we didn't go with it because that's not really possessive behavior. We were just being cruel and so there's another idea of what if I completely forgot I remember what it was now what if Michael was making Oscar clean up 
with his mess because Michael is lazy and he's being like, hey, you do stuff for me because I own you. But that wasn't possessive behavior, at least to me. I was like, no, that's not that possessive. And so the final thing was, what if Michael was had a literal leash on Oscar and was like, hey, look at Luca. He's free. He's having fun. He's he's being his own person. But what do you? What do you, you 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 have to stick by me because you you a loser <laughs> and I own you. So what does that say about you, homie? So I I I, I went with that one. Don't don't know why, but I did. And I think I did an okay job. This one is definitely not one of my favorites, but it's not one of my least favorites because I think I did. A, tiny bit of a good job with the perspective okay i didn't do that great of a job but i think i did okay drawing people from behind because i'm really trying to get better drawing people from behind i almost never do it and i especially don't do that with oscar because his hair makes me just not want to live <laughs> uh kind of forgot michael's arm hair but to be honest I'm too lazy to go back and add it, so let's, let's just pretend he has arm hair. We know he doesn't in this picture, but we're completely gonna ignore that, and I don't remember if I gave Oscar his gray hair. Yo, I completely forgot. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know. I forget so much that when I do forget, I kind of just block it out, but I'm pretty sure I forgot. I always forget. And I can hear my mom playing Pokemon Go from the living room. Guess you gotta catch them all, anyway. Alright, that's it for the video. Hope this wasn't too boring. And hope the pictures look alright. Have a nice October and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye kids. And before you question why my voice sounds more dead inside, I just woke up and it's 2 in the afternoon. So, goodbye.